conversation. For me now, start spring time because I have hope. If you tend something, something will grow. <laughs> when I come to the garden, I feel in peace. The majority have been tortured for political reasons very often, sometimes because they just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. People have fled that situation because there's, they've reached a point in their lives when there's no alternative. Usually it's either flee or be killed. They've come expecting sanctuary and often they, that's the last thing that they found. In fact. The asylum process in this country is generally a very long-winded and painful experience. You feel like you're dead, your emotions, everything. It's all behind you, but it's still haunting you. You're crying all the time, of course. You're feeling sad, you're thinking about home. You're wounded inside. I always was considered a, a piece of paper. Um, and I had to wait for someone to, to pick up that piece of paper and look at it and decide. You don't even know whether you'll get a knock on your door and get deportation orders to take you away and that keeps you very apprehensive. People often talk about going through a process which is dehumanizing. It's not even that they're on the bottom rung on the pecking order, they're not on any rung at all. So they've lost touch with anything that has the potential for growth. You come from outside, you enter the garden, then it's like you are entering another world altogether because there's a lot of peace, there's a lot of life, it's secluded, quiet, and you know, you, you have room to, to, to enjoy the, the nature. Plants are living things, they are communicating to us. It's like a little place I reserved from, for you when you don't want to see the buildings, you don't want to see the pollution on the streets and sometimes it looks to me like what Eden Garden must have been like. I definitely feel different and I act different because I'm in a different place. <laughs> Back home, my father used to tell me, you dig, plant, weed, and leave God to make the plants grow. If I have been very upset about something when I come here, I'm not so upset anymore. And by the end of the session, I'm not upset at all. It makes you switch your your attention from the bad things that happened that you want to stay aside into things that you want to, to keep alive. Then there's also some hope. You know a plant would grow, flower, get the fruits. Someone is shouting uh, outside, come on, everyone has to try it. It is from the garden, this one. We don't take a no for an answer, so everyone has to eat it. Personally, I live alone, so um, I eat alone. So when I come here, um, I, I feel in a family. You feel that, that some people, yeah, they, they do share the sadness you have and we can mix together and have some jokes and laughs. Some of them Muslim, some of them uh, Buddhist, Christian, some of them hasn't any religion, but they try to be a friend with each other. It's, it's very much about kind of being in the here and now and kind of enjoying, enjoying, uh, actually finding a bit of life together at the end of the day, actually kind of experiencing some good life together.
when you work together, you laugh together, you cook together, and eat together, it's like family setup. When I come to the garden, I just concentrate on, on, on looking into the flowers, the trees, everything in the garden, and I start thinking of the creator of the of these beautiful things, the fact that he created everything for me. I mean, for us all, but for me. In that moment, I forget about um, all the problems. Things are going to work out for good. God created every 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 one every, every every living thing. You know, the other things are created, like houses, are created by man. But life is created by God, and that is the basic thing. I believe something that is created by God needs a lot of respect. The garden is like paradise for us. Because when I came here, I was very depressed and uh, without hope. And now it's uh, something changed. <laughs> it was winter, and now for me it's spring. You feel like you're, you're, you're doing something that is good for you mentally and spiritually. It takes away your pain that's inside you. There's something about people who have been through very, very painful and difficult experiences, who have been in a way kind of damaged and twisted by those experiences, actually being in a place which is just very natural. Very, very slowly people can, in a way, kind of touch the natural kind of growth processes in themselves again. When someone in that position begins to kind of tend the garden themselves, of course what they're really doing is tending something in themselves. A slow process. It's about finding life, finding life again, and, and finding life is essentially spiritual. You can feel the uh, serenity and, the, and of course it's that's what everybody wants, I think. Yeah. Spiritually, it gets me closer to the Creator. It's a joy. It's quite a joy. When you are attending something that you know has some impact on your life. Thank you.